exorcisms have been being performed since early history. The practice started to die out by the 18th century, but many high profile cases started to appear during the 20th century due to media attention. Exorcisms are performed for the purpose of evicting demons or spiritual entities from a person who is believed to be possessed. There has been much controversy surrounding exorcisms as many claim the possession symptoms are only signs of mental illness. After seeing these exorcisms, let us know your opinions in the comments. Do you think spirits or demons exist? And if so, do you believe they can possess humans? Number 5. Keyhole Exorcism This exorcism occurred in November of 2014. A 26 year old man by the name of Daniel Trotcher was walking past a church when he heard a woman letting out an agonizing scream. He then decided to see what the commotion was about and had a look into the keyhole on the door of the church. He saw a woman having an exorcism performed on her. Several people can be seen surrounding the woman. She continues to scream. Once the footage was released, more information was found out about it. The church was a Roman Catholic church located in a Czech town. Church officials and a Catholic priest confirmed that the exorcism was real but declined to give out any information. No more information has been released about the case. Number 4. Latin American Exorcism This video was released in April of 2016. A current summer in Latin America, the clip shows a young woman who is believed to be possessed. The woman is first seen sitting in a white circle. This could possibly be the magic circle. This is used by practitioners of ritual magic. It's believed that the circle contains energy and forms of sacred space. The circle is usually outlined with chalk or salt. During the exorcism, blood starts pouring out the woman's mouth. She then begins to scream and move her joints in an odd way. After this, one of the conductors makes her jump up and down and it then appears that she returns back to normal. The crowd begins to cheer and the clip ends. Number 3. Annalise Michelle Audio This is most likely one of the most publicized exorcisms in history. We've done a video on this case before, so we won't go into much detail. Annalise was a German woman who underwent many exorcisms administered by the Catholic Church in 1975. At the age of 16, she had an epileptic seizure and was diagnosed with temporal lobe epilepsy. She was also diagnosed with depression and was treated at a psychiatric hospital. By age 20, she began to hear voices and would become disgusted at the sight of religious objects. As her condition grew worse, her parents feared that she may have been possessed by demons, so appealed to a Catholic priest for an exorcism. After obtaining permission from a bishop, two priests performed secret exorcisms on Michelle. 67 exorcism sessions were performed on her, spanning over a course of 10 months. They would usually last for four hours and be performed two times a week. On July 1st, 1976, Annalise died in her home. She died from malnutrition and dehydration. This was a result of her being in a semi-starvation state for almost a year. Her parents and the priest were charged with negligent homicide. We will now play a section of the audio from one of the sessions. The demons which were supposedly talking were identified by the priests as Lucifer, Cain, Judas, Hitler and Nero. Oh, Number 2. Jinn Possession This exorcism occurred somewhere in the Middle East. There is very little information about the video, but it's believed that the woman is possessed by a jinn. A jinn, also known as a genie, are supernatural creatures in early Arabian and later Islamic mythology. They are frequently mentioned in the Quran and have been described as inhabitants of an unseen world. They are believed to come from a different universe beyond the known universe. The Quran says that the jinn are made of smokeless and scorching fire, so this could possibly be some form of electricity. Jinn can be good, evil or neutral. In this video, the sheikh performing the exorcism asks the entity if it's a jinn, which it replies, I am Aizel. The entity then claims that it is taking care of the woman and insists that it's not leaving. It's unsure if they manage to cast the demon out as the clip ends while they're still trying. Hey, hey, Aizel. <sighs> Number 1. Young Girl Exorcism This video started circulating on Facebook in March of 2016. It shows an 11-year-old Bulgarian girl who was supposedly possessed by seven demons. The girl can be seen on the floor violently coughing. A man can be heard in the background repeating the words, Blood of Jesus. 
a healer can be seen placing her hands on the child while saying, never again. By the end of the video, the girl seems to be freed from the demons. Some have claimed that the girl may have just been suffering from a bad chest infection. Hell no, till the no, 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 hell till the no, hell till the no, till the no, no.